Hi everyone, Ellen from Ellen's Tips for iOS. If you've ever wished your iPhone or Apple Watch could just be a little bit easier to use, today's video is for you. I'm going to show you five quick and practical tips, things that make everyday tasks simpler. These are the kinds of tips I love sharing with my senior audience because they save time, prevent frustration, and make your Apple devices more enjoyable. Let's get started. Tip number one, how to add an email folder on your iPhone or iPad. So to do this, we want to access uh, the mail app. Many of us like to keep our email organized, maybe one folder for family, another for bills, and one just for recipes. So to add a folder to your mail app, we're going to open the mail app. So I'm going to pull down with my finger on the home screen to access the search bar. I've already typed in mail. You'll see it appear at the top. I'm going to go ahead and tap on it to open. And now you'll see that I'm in an area that's called all inboxes. So if you have more than one account, you'll see that option, all inboxes. Tap on mailboxes in the upper left corner. Now tap on edit. At the lower right hand corner, you'll see an option for new mailbox. This is actually for a folder. I'm going to tap on new mailbox and now I need to give it a name. I'm just going to call this one test. And now I need to uh, put it in a location if I have more than one account. So I'm going to tap on mailbox location. So you'll see that um, I have a ton of folders in Gmail, but I'm just going to swipe down to the very bottom. The other accounts that I have are Ellen's Tips and iCloud. I'm going to go ahead and just choose iCloud. I've given it a name. The location is iCloud. I'll tap on Save at the top. Now, if I scroll to the very bottom, you'll see that I have a new folder located under iCloud called Test. Now, anytime you get an email you want to keep, just move it into that folder. This way, your inbox isn't cluttered and you'll know exactly where to find things. Tip number two, how to mute Apple Watch with a simple gesture. Have you ever had your Apple Watch ding or buzz at the wrong moment? Maybe in church, at dinner, or during a nap? There's a super quick way to silence it. When your watch starts making noise, simply cover the entire watch with your palm for about three seconds. You'll feel a little tap on your wrist and the sound stops immediately. It's called the cover to mute gesture. Just make sure it's turned on. So for this, we want to open the Apple Watch app. So again, you can do this either on your uh, iPhone or your Apple Watch. So what we want to do is swipe down again. And this time, we're going to tap, we're going to type in watch. I've already done that. And you can see the watch app appears at the very top. I'll open it and now we're going to look for the option that says gestures. Tap on that and you'll see the option cover to mute. Switch that option on. That's it. No fumbling for buttons. Just cover the watch face with your palm of your hand and the noise is gone. Tip number three, open your most recent photo with a single tap. Let's say you just took a great photo of the grandkids or a beautiful flower in your garden and you want to see it right away. You don't have to dig through the Photos app. Here's the trick. If you push and hold on the Photos app, so let's locate that first. I'm going to pull down and I'm going to tap in Photos. And once I see it at the top, if I push and hold on it, You'll see a pop-up menu appears. You'll see right under at the very top, it says most recent, and you'll see a little thumbnail of the photo that you last took. Tap on that, 
and instantly you're looking at your most recent photo. Another option that you can use is the camera app. So if I swipe out of there and I tap on the camera app to open it, so to get there, all I did was swipe down from the upper right corner of the screen to come into the control center. I open the camera app. You'll see in the bottom left corner is where you're going to find your most recent photo. You can tap on it. And from there, you can zoom in, edit, or share it. To do that, you have all of these options. So here's your option to share. But if I want to edit, I'm going to tap on this little uh, icon next to the eye. That'll take me into the edit options. This is so much faster than going back to the Photos app and scrolling through your entire library. Tip number four, how to select a frame from a live photos. Live photos are fun because they capture a few seconds of movement and sound, but sometimes the main frame isn't the one you like best. Maybe someone blinked or turned their head. Here's how to pick the perfect frame. We're going to open the Photos app. We're going to locate media types, so start scrolling towards the bottom. Tap on Live Photos. Scroll until you see the photo that you want to change. I'll tap on it to open. Now I'm going to tap on Edit next to the eye. And now tap on Live. You'll see all of the frames that were taken during the live uh, photo. And now you can choose the one that you like best. Tap on Make Key Photo. And once you do that, that's the photo you'll see in your album. It's like choosing the best snapshot from a mini video. I'll go ahead and tap on Done. And now that's the photo we'll see in the album. Tip number five, how to resend an email on iPhone the easy way. We've all been there. You send an email, then later realize you need to send it again, maybe to another family member or because the first person didn't get it. Here's the easiest way. We're going to open the mail app again. So locate the mail app. I'm inside the app library where I'll tap at the top and I'll start typing in mail. I'm going to tap mail to open. Now, I'm in all of my inboxes, but I want to go to my sent folder. So I'll tap mailboxes in the upper left corner. And now I'll tap on sent. Find the email that you want to resend. Tap to open it. Once you do, you want to come down to this curved arrow and tap on that. A menu will open. You'll see an option in that menu that says send again. Tap on that. It'll pop up the email. You can change the to to whoever you need to send it to. Once you do that, or if you need to resend it to the same person, it's already ready to go. You just tap on the blue arrow to send. No need to copy, paste, or retype. This is a big time saver. And there you have it, five quick and handy tips for your iPhone and Apple Watch. Adding folders to organize email, silencing your Apple Watch with your palm, opening the latest photo in a single tap, picking the perfect frame of a live photo, and resending an email without starting from scratch. These little tricks really add up to a smoother, easier experience with your devices. If you found this video helpful, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. You don't want to miss next week's tip. And if you'd like a free weekly PDF guide to go along with these videos, sign up for my newsletter. I'll leave a link in the description below. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.